Human wildlife conflict within Narok and its environs has remained a big headache following increased cases of wildlife attacks that have seen local communities employ crude means, including poisoning lions. The affected farmers are seeking compensation from the Kenya Wildlife Service, failure to which they will take unspecified action. Meanwhile, Lands Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni has underscored the importance of technology in resolving perennial land challenges. Kaimeni says adoption of technology in managing land-related matters will help eradicate cartels that have taken over the land sector, causing Kenyans untold suffering. The Cabinet Secretary made the remarks during a land administration workshop where he promised the digitization of 13 land registries by end of 2016 to ease land transaction matters. The benefits of digitization, for example, and there are many, very many, improved records keeping, revenue generation, as was being told by our brother there, Improved tracking of our records instead of using a manual system and creating scenarios where it's easy to cheat. We want to make that extremely difficult. Elsewhere, fear and grief engulfed residents of Gadama village of Kihumbuini location in Gatanga constituency after a 35-year-old man brutally murdered his 75-year-old mother over a land dispute. Close relatives say that the suspect had been embroiled in land wrangles fighting him, his mother and his younger brother over subdivision of their land. The suspect was nabbed by Kirwara police officers and he will be arraigned in court. <laughs> And elders from the Kia Makikuyu Culture Organization have underscored the importance of culture in the general development of the boy child. Speaking in Kiambu during the transition ceremony for 343 boys, the elders said erosion of the cultural values has seen youths embrace foreign cultures with often negative consequences. The elders say they are seeking to have youths appreciate the importance of their diverse cultures in an effort to cushion them from moral decay. The elders called on youths to shun negative behavior that have brought more decay in the society. Tunasema, tunataka luwiru shoke mukaro, yani, the river follow its own course, mahali ilikuwa zamani. Zamani watu walikuwa wame tupiria hii mira, kwa hivyo tukaonea sisi kama wasee wachama, tuungane pamoja, tushikane, tulete wazazi pamoja, Finally, it was pomp and gala at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport as reggae enthusiasts welcomed one of the famous Jamaican band. Thunder Band is in the country to entertain reggae music lovers. The band, led by Capleton King Shango, say they are excited to be in the country at a time when Kenyans look back to their history, noting that Africa is the home of humanity. The band will perform at Safaricom Stadium Kasarani on the eve of Jamhuri Day.